In this video, I'll show you how to add your WooCommerce products on a page or a blog post in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to add products to a WordPress page using two different methods. So the first method will be using the WooSuite product table plugin, which is this section here. Okay, so here we can see the products are displayed in this product table here. Customers can quickly filter the particular products they want. They can go ahead and search for it as well. And as you can see, this result is pretty much instant. Or we're going to use the default WordPress Gutenberg block, which is this section here. It's not too bad. It's displaying it in a grid layout. We do have some sorting options, which is very good. There's no filter by category or anything like that. If this is what you want, then I'll show you how to do this as well. So if you do want to add a product to your WordPress page, similar to this one, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite product table plugin. Once you've done so, we'll head over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. So with this plugin, you can create various different layouts. So we can add a layout like this one, um, like this, and all these different examples here. So we'll just head over to our dashboard. Here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite product table plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go through the installation process and then we'll go ahead and click on the product table um, option here. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and create a new product table. So we'll just click add new table here. And then we can just give it a name. It's for internal purposes. Okay, and then here where it says quick order form, we just want to make sure this is set to select a page. So if you wanted, you can actually automatically insert this particular product table into any page by selecting a page here. But we're going to manually do it via the short code method. So then we'll click on order form. And then here we can go ahead and build out our columns. So if we navigate to the front end, we can see we've got um, the image of the product, the um, product category, the product name, price, and also the add to cart button. So we're going to go ahead and replicate this here. So we'll add the product image. We'll add the product um, name. And then we'll add, um, we'll add the product category. We'll add the price. And then we'll also add the add to cart button. We can add custom columns as well. But that's for a different video i'll leave a link in the description below and a link somewhere around this video as well for the image size we can go ahead and customize it here so this is um it's done by the width and then the height so we'll say 150 pixels width by a 100 pixel height okay we can enable the light box um, option short code so a lot of these options and um, we're going to actually skip over and we'll only select um, the relevant ones for this particular video so we'll navigate to bulk add to cart and then here we'll set it to buttons only then we'll enable the ajax add to cart behavior we'll allow customers to choose the quantity and then for the variation settings we'll allow customers to choose it via the drop down okay so we'll navigate to form controls here so if we wanted, we can actually go ahead and filter um, the products that's displayed on this product table. So for example, we can go ahead and actually choose um, specific products to display on the table. So we'll just search for it here. Okay, and then we can just add. So if we were to save changes now, only this particular table will display on the product table. Okay, and we've got various filters. So we can filter it by category, tags, attributes, custom taxonomy, the recently purchased product by a customer, and stock status. So whether it's in stock or out of stock or whether the product's on sale as well. So I'm actually going to remove this filter. And then this way, we'll just display all the products from our store within our product table. Product filters. So we'll enable this and we'll actually base it on the product table columns okay so we should have a category filter okay so we'll scroll down and we will zoom past a lot of these because it's fine as it is we'll just enable this reset button here we can actually go ahead and further customize the design if you're tech savvy as well you can enable this css element here and add your own css styling for bulk variation we're going to actually ignore the settings i've created another video explaining what this um, option actually does so i'll link it in the description below and i'll leave a link to the particular video on screen now and performance settings so you only want to use this um, option if you've got say over 500 products for example okay so i'm just going to save changes now we'll navigate back over to general settings okay and here's this product table which i've just created so i'll just copy the short code and then we'll navigate over to our page that we want to add our products to so i'm going to edit this page 
Okay, and then we'll go ahead and add our new product table. So I'll click add a block here and then I'll search for short code. And then we'll just paste in our short code here. Okay, and then that will display our product table. So let's go ahead and update and now we can view page. Okay, and here we can see our product table. And now I'm going to show you how to actually add um, the products to a particular page or blog post um, using Glutenberg. So we'll head back over to um, the page that we're editing now. And I'm going to delete this section. And I'll show you how to do so. We'll just click this add new block icon. Okay, so we'll just search for products. Okay, and then we can select all product or we can select um, products by tag. So it's up to you. So if you only wanted to display um, products from a particular um, category, for example, then you can go ahead and select this option. In my case, I'm just going to select all products here. And then here we've got um, all our products displaying. We've got some extra options here as well on the right. So we can customize the column and also the rows as well. Okay, we've got the option to display this sorting option here. And we've got the option to set a default sorting as well. Then when we click on advanced, we can add a custom class to this particular section for more advanced um, customization. Okay, so we'll just update this view page. And then when we scroll down here, we can see our products created using Gutenberg. Okay, so we've got two different options in how we can show products on a page or a blog post. Okay, and that's the add of products to any particular WordPress page or blog post in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.